Chandrayaan-3 was the third lunar exploration mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, under its Chandrayaan program. It consisted of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, similar to those of the Chandrayaan-2 mission, which failed to land on the moon in 2019. The main objective of Chandrayaan-3 was to demonstrate India's capability to perform a soft landing on the lunar surface and to explore the lunar South Pole region, where water, ice, and other resources are expected to be abundant. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on 14 July 2023 from the Satish Dawan. Wan Space Center in Sriharikota, India. Using a launch vehicle marked IILF-3 rocket, the spacecraft entered lunar orbit on 5 August and performed several orbital maneuvers to lower its altitude and prepare for landing. On 23 August, the Vikram lander separated from the propulsion module and initiated a powered descent towards the landing site, located between Manzina Sea and Sampalias N craters near the lunar south pole. The lander successfully touched down at 12.32 UTC, making India the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon after the Soviet Soviet Union, the United States, and China, and the first to do so near the lunar south pole. The Pragyan rover was deployed shortly after landing and began its exploration of the surrounding terrain using various instruments. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was widely celebrated in India and abroad as a historic achievement for India's space program and a milestone for lunar exploration. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated ISRO and said that the mission was a big step forward in space exploration and a testament to the impressive progress made by India in the field of science and technology. He also said that the mission was a victory call for a new India and a moment of unforgettable pride for all Indians. Other Indian leaders, such as opposition leader Rahul Gandhi, also praised ISRO and its scientists for their tremendous ingenuity and hard work. The mission also received positive reactions from other countries and international organizations. Russian President Vladimir Putin called the moon landing an impressive event and said that it demonstrated India's high level of professionalism in space activities. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa congratulated India on behalf of the BRICS coalition of economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and said that it was a momentous occasion for the BRICS family. Nepalese Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal hailed the moon landing as a historic moment and congratulated Modi and ISRO for their achievement. Joseph Ashbacher, the Director General of the European Space Agency, ESA described the landing of Chandrayaan-3 as an incredible event and said that it was a way to demonstrate new technologies and achieve India's first soft landing on another celestial body. Luna 25 was a Russian lunar lander mission by Roscosmos that planned to land near the lunar south pole near the crater Bogoslavsky. It was part of what was once conceptualized as the Lunaglob Lunar Exploration Program and was renamed Luna 25 to emphasize continuity with the Soviet Luna program from the 1970s. It was the first lunar lander that Roscosmos had sent to the moon since Luna 24 in 1976. The mission carried 30 kg of scientific instruments, including a robotic arm for soil samples and possible drilling hardware. Luna 25 was launched on 11 August 2023 from the Vostochny Cosmodrome in Russia using a Soyuz 2.1B slash Fregat rocket. The spacecraft entered lunar orbit on 16 August and prepared for landing on 19 August. Unfortunately, Luna 25 did not succeed in landing on the moon. According to Roscosmos, the spacecraft suffered a malfunction during the final descent phase and crashed near the intended landing site. The exact cause of the failure is still under investigation, but some sources suggest that it was related to a problem with the propulsion system or the guidance system. The failure of Luna 25 was a major setback for Russia's lunar ambition and a disappointment for its scientific community. Roscosmos chief Dmitry Rogozin expressed his regret and said that the mission was a difficult and ambitious project that faced many technical challenges. He also said that Roscosmos would learn from the experience and continue to work on future lunar missions, such as Luna 26 and Luna 27, which are planned for 2024 and 2025 respectively. Russian President Vladimir Putin also offered his condolences and said that he was proud of the courage and dedication of the Russian space team. The failure of Luna 25 also contrasted sharply with the success of Chandrayaan-3, which landed on the moon just four days later. Some analysts suggested that this reflected the growing gap between India and Russia in terms of space capabilities and achievements. Others argued that the two missions were not directly comparable and that both countries had their own strengths and challenges in space exploration. Some also pointed out that India and Russia had a long history of cooperation in space activities and that they could benefit from each other's expertise and experience.